Dr. Dave 101. that time of the season once again where i get to say merry christmas and happy holidays to each and what every one of you out there in spaced out radio land who follow us on this show on a nightly basis as well as all of you who are following us on our social media platforms it has been a wonderful year of exchange of talk of knowledge of news and everything that goes on. Now, many times we really try to focus on the negative. That is just humanity that kind of goes on with everyday life. We love the drama. We love the hate. We love the discussions that are going on behind the scenes. Psst, you didn't hear that from me. But it happens on a daily basis across every field of the paranormal, the supernatural, the ufological, and the cryptid world. It's easy to focus on the negative, even though we don't want to. So tonight, on the Dave 101, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to each and every guest that we have had on this show over the last 12 months. Putting a show together like this is very difficult. It's not just me standing in front of a camera and a microphone and bringing on whoever will come on. I need a team behind me. And that team is, well, one of the best we've ever had. Starting off with Lynn Wallington, who hosts our weekend show. She has been an amazing addition since March when she came on to take over the weekends. I want to say thank you to Michael W. Hall, our paranormal lawyer who used to host the Sunday show. Fantastic job and a great friend of what we do. I want to say a big thank you to Captain Shirk, Shirky Poo, for the news that she brings on on a nightly basis. She has been one of my longest supporters, and I absolutely love her dearly, even though sometimes she makes me pull my beautiful hair out. But, Captain, we couldn't do it without you. You are a wonderful gift for Spaced Out Radio. I want to say a big thank you to our booking crew of Dirty Filth, otherwise known as Nick, to Spookles the Cat, otherwise known as Kate, to Bree, a.k.a. Thin Lizzie Borden, for hanging on out and bringing us these fantastic guests that we have had. We also thank Corrance, the booking guy, for his job earlier in the year that he did to help us bring great guests to this show. I want to say thank you to Vincent, who has taken over and done an incredible job with doing our YouTube channel, bringing it up to speed to where we need it to be. It's been a hard, hard task, but we were able to do it. I want to say thank you to John Hudson for doing the unbiased UFO report that we started a few months ago that has been highly successful, along with people such as Jim and Jade and Big Willie, who have really brought together a fantastic forum in the After Hours show that we have recently started. I want to say thank you to our listeners and all of our wrenches in our YouTube channel and Merry Christmas to each and every one of them, because without them, our chat room could be very, very difficult. We talk about some topics that really, really push the buttons of people, whether it's for positive and sometimes for negative. But our wrenches do a great job in making sure that our chat room is always a safe place for people to come and give their opinion, no matter who they are, what they are, what they preach. We have people of all color, all faith, all sexual orientation, and we don't care because in the end, we're all in this together. And it makes for a fun and fantastic and supportive chat room that we put together on a nightly basis. Without our chatters, we wouldn't be where we are today. I want to say thank you to our terrestrial radio stations of Saga 960 in Mississauga, Ontario, uh, to Chuck at KZFX in Ridgecrest, California, to Len at uh, The Rattler in Apache Junction, Arizona, our latest station to pick us up, to Bellingham, where we are on KZAX, to UPRN in New Orleans, and in 
WQEE 99.1 Rock the Key to Ryan and the great show that they have uh, been with us. We've been with with them for about five years now. And it just makes it so much more fun when you have that terrestrial audience listening as well. We have done a lot over this year to grow. We have done a lot to make ourselves be the best that we can be, and there's still room for improvement. But we're going to continue on because I am in a loving mood this Christmas. I really am. And I want to say a Merry Christmas to a lot of people out there who've been influential in this field. I want to say Merry Christmas to all of our UFO friends out there, the experts, the fans, the guests. Namely, I'm going to point a couple out. I want to say thank you and Merry Christmas to people like Grant Cameron and Nicole Sackage, who have been major, major players in what we do. I want to say thank you and Merry Christmas to our guests who we have on a monthly basis. Geraldine Orozco, R. Keith Andrews, Varla Ventura, Butch Witkowski, David Weatherly. Who else do we got? Ronald Murphy, Merle and Science Bob. I want to say thank you and Merry Christmas to the entire UFO world for allowing us to be a part of it. It's been a stressful year for experiencers. It's been a stressful year for those trying to bring the news. But the good people have done a great job in getting that effort out. Whether you agree with them or not, or the narrative, that is not for today. Today is about saying thanks to everybody who has helped get the picture out there that this phenomena is real and that it is happening. And now we see the government of the United States for bringing it together. I want to say thank you and Merry Christmas to many, many people in this field who have talked to me privately about the phenomena. This has been a very, very educational year for me because a lot of stories, a lot of evidence, and a lot of insider information that I try and share with our audience has come from insiders who know way more than me, but they just say, Dave, keep my name out of it. This is what you can say. This is what you can't. But that information goes a long way to educating our audience. So thank you to all of our anonymous sources that have helped us along the way. I want to say thank you and Merry Christmas to people like Duke from World Bigfoot Radio, Nate Rudd, and others in the Bigfoot field who have really opened our eyes up to many, many encounters and great stories and knowledge of the cryptid world. Ronald Murphy, another one. Brian Bowden, another person out there. Even though he has so many podcasts, he still makes time for us. The knowledge that they have helped share to our audience is second to none. I try and bring on people on this show to keep everything open-minded. We like to call it the woo, but you know what? What is really normal about these topics that we discuss? Sure, these topics can fire people up. It can get people mad. I've been mad over the year. I've been upset over the year. I don't understand certain things that make me cross. But in the end, it's all information that we are putting together to try and make a story and a byline out of what all of this phenomena is all about. The one thing that we have learned this year is that there is a bigger picture. What that bigger picture is, we still don't know. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with all the pieces upside down and putting all the gray pieces together. What I can say is, I think after 2021, We actually have an outline and the outer edges to that puzzle complete. We now have to fill in the puzzle pieces to see what the picture truly looks like. Heading into 2022, we'll go over that next week when we give our final Dave 101 of the year. But for this, this Christmas Eve, it is about saying thank you to everybody in this community who has helped us out and helped us grow. We have interviewed people that we never thought we would get on this show. Luis Elizondo has become a friend of ours. 
and we thank him and wish him a Merry Christmas for putting his neck on the line along with Chris Mellon for really getting the UFO story out there and into the public. We not, may not agree with the narrative. We may not agree with some of the information, but the fact is these two gentlemen alone are pretty much fully responsible for making the UFO topic top page news, headline news that has never, ever been seen before in the world of UFOs. And we're not talking about the National Enquirer or Star Magazine, the smut mags that used to carry UFO stories. I want to say a big thank you to all our friendly podcasters out there, namely Ben and Joe from UFO Garage. And if you haven't subscribed to their channel, I would so much appreciate if you did. These two have really helped us out in in helping promote this show. So much so that we were able to switch our website over to Ben's company, Nido Creative. And that's why we have such a hot looking website that we do today. It is incredible the amount of friends that you can build within this community. People who are generous with their time, generous with their efforts, and generous with whatever their expertise is in order to help you out. There are a lot of good people in this field who really deserve a pat on the back and more support, whether it's a click of a follow, a hit of the subscribe button, or a super chat donation, or just a, a retweet of some sort. This information that you are getting is from people who are working hard right across their bow. The majority of people in this field, I would say 99% of them, are not making a living off of this. This is a passion more than a hobby that they are doing in order to do their little part to bring you the knowledge they can. Whether it's UFOs, whether it's cryptid, whether it's ghosts. And we see this happening on a daily basis. And those people like Merle and Science Bob and UFO Garage and Nicole Sackage and many others in between deserve the pats on the back that they need. Why? because their efforts are moving the ball forward. We are all trying to move the ball forward in whatever respective field that we have. On this show, we try and bring you a nightly topic of discussion where we're trying to create not only great radio, but great knowledge for those who need it. We thank people like Steve Stockton from from Missing Persons and Mysteries and people like Swamp Dweller for coming on in and really believing in what we are doing and helping promote us to become bigger and better than what that we are currently. It takes a community in order to build a community. That community may start off small, but in the end, it grows the proper way. Sure, there's been fights. Sure, there's been hatred. Sure, there's been mental anguish at times for things that we don't understand. But right now, it's all about the positive and about the love that we need to show each other moving forward. Why? Because that is how we're going to grow heading into 2022. And this year, out of all years, even though the news has been right up front, we've seen a lot of people move towards these little clicks. We've seen a lot of people move towards these little groups to kind of faction off their information. But in the end, they're not hoarding the information. They're letting the information out, which allows all of us shows like this to benefit from their hard work. So for everybody who has done the hard work in this field and really helped make a positive step forward, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to your families. And Merry Christmas and thank you to the great research that all of you have done to move the woo forward. We love having fun on this show on a nightly basis. We love to be able to bring you the latest and greatest that we can find. It's people who are working hard in this field to bring those stories together that are making us 
a great success on a nightly basis. And because of that success, we keep growing. Merry Christmas to each and every one of our listeners, those in our chat rooms each and every night, those who are posting and reposting our social media posts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. We couldn't do it without our wonderful listeners who join us each and every night. And we have never, ever taken for granted those who are taking their time to spend it with us. Time is the most important thing we have on this planet because time is finite. And when you get great people who listen to this show on a nightly basis, whether on our terrestrial affiliates, whether via the podcast or YouTube or Twitch, you know that you have to be on your best each and every night because those people deserve the mention and the credit for making our show much better. So from all of us at Spaced Out Radio to all of you out there, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all the best in 2022. You have made this a very successful year for us, and we are so proud to go through seven years of broadcasting for you, our wonderful audience. Take care.